going to be going over a little bit of the uh, Prism software for the Aeon systems. Uh, this one right now, this unit is in the alarm. Downstairs we're doing construction. Of course, went to alarm. So, you yeah, get set up on Prism. You have all your stuff linked up to your computer. Log in. Username and passwords can be admin, admin. See? You gotta get this separate. It doesn't come with the prison software. You're gonna link up to this controller. This one's talking to these guys. These are your refrigeration circuits. Over here. You can see we're lit up like a Christmas tree. So, back onto the software in here. So you're gonna to wanna to go over to the uh, communications, search for units. This little window's gonna pop up. Go ahead and hit search, start search. It's gonna load. You already found some right here, see so it's green. Depending on your job site, whatever or how they have the uh, Controller setup. Usually down here in the unit selection, they'll say most of the time the unit number. So like this one says VCCX2 controller. And that's this guy right here. So you can hit cancel search. And exit out. Refreshed, and you just double click down here. Now, uh, here's your unit here. So, here's your Z with an alarm. Got a couple of values. Also, depending on your BAS, how it's set up with the unit, you're not going to be able to control much. Like I said, depending on what your application is set up for. But I'll just go over this a little bit. Go to hit detail view. This is going to show you a bunch of other values. It's on here. Air control. Control settings. Relays. Expansion valves. Uh, these are just regular TFTs. The other one, I got three other buildings that have uh, AL systems on it. Same as this unit here. And the uh, their electronic TFTs. So you can look at a chart, which up here this is expansion chart. And you click on that, it'll show you valve one, two, three, four. If you're set up for BP, so if I hit value one, it gives me a full chart. As you can see. But I'm not set up for that, so I'm just gonna click on it. And you can go down here to refrigeration modules, which will pick up your controllers here. A, B, and C. You can see right here. A, B, and C. C pressures. Temperature. Right here, see it's showing off. Of course, it's an alarm, so it's not green. Usually it'll be green when it's on. Or if it's an alarm, it'll be red, of course. Now this unit is kicking out on, on the static safety due to construction. We added extra filters and other crap down there. So when you reset the relay and I'll have it fired up real quick. See our safety relays right here. It's a low suction relay. 
Then you got to tie it into your fire alarm. And you got to tie it to a relay here, and that goes to your safeties. And it will trip out your control voltage to your drives here. BB's external lockout. So let's reset it. Let's see. This one's gonna probably go back in another alarm because the uh, EV-tron, which is this guy right here, is in a trouble. I gotta look at that later. That's detecting your outside air, uh, CFM, and, and temperature. Then that will relate back to here on your outputs to this little board right here, and this will then talk to your unit here. And then it relays your values back. Far up right now. Stupid door doesn't have a thing right here because it keeps shutting. So the other units I have controls are slightly different than these set of units, for what reason? I don't know, it's just the way it's set up due to design team and the other engineers who decided on what needs to be in these buildings instead of the other ones, even though they're all identical. But I like on this unit here, we have these real this, uh, fuses in here, right? Of course you gotta disconnect. On the other units, you just have a straight gear switch on the outside. No fuses, nothing. No disconnect, nothing. So we got airflow. And there we go. Back to square one. So There's definitely, uh, obviously, airflow issue here. I was hoping to stay on a little longer that we can go over this. Kind of show some values. And the unit doing its thing, but I'll have to do another video. Maybe on a different unit. But yeah, just a quick little show on the uh, Prism software here for Aeon system. Uh, that's about it.